Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, we are going to learn about unit step function in MATLAB. So, uh, what is unit step function? In this mathematical equation, you can see that u of t, u of t, uh, will be become one. As you can see that it will be become one when t is equals to zero or greater than zero. Okay. And when is t is less than zero, the value will be zero. Okay. This is so called unit step function. Okay, and unit means one. Step means it's going from zero to one. Okay, and in this diagram you can see that value uh, it's zero before t is equal to zero, and it will become one when t is equal to zero. Okay, and in this section you can see there is a delay, and it causes it to go to the point A, and then it will become one and it's a inverse uh, form and in this thing yes you can see that uh, it will remain one for some period from a to b i have given that some description here uh, like suppose that the, this 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 description is for uh, this one t minus b this one okay the function one minus u t minus b turn off at t is equals to b it means that the value of one is coming from behind and it will turn off when t approaches to b okay and this function it says that it will only on for uh, at point a and it will turn off at point b okay so we have to draw this transfer function in matlab okay first we are going to draw this one the simplest one and in matlab like uh, the graph would be like this okay let's go to the matlab we have to give some value t is equals to uh, let's consider from minus 2 with an increment of 0 0.01 uh, to 8 okay and the value of i am saying is uh, z um, t is greater than equal to 0 plot t comma z okay and i think i should give some axis so you can see easily that it's uh, my values starting from as i started from minus 2 to 8 okay so you can see here my value is from starting from minus 2 to 8 and it's become 1 at 0 here you can see that okay so I think we should describe some axis here uh, so we can visualize easily. Axis in first coordinate it will be like x axis minus three to uh, nine and uh, from y axis it should be minus one to two. So now you can see the graph. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I think we should do some like uh, convert this expression in a task in in a in a diagram form. So as you can see in this expression, value of uh, unit step function becoming one at value of two, and it's again become zero at four, and then again it's becoming. Uh, 1 at 5 and goes down to 6 it becoming 1 at 2 and going down at 4 and then again it's going up at 5 and then going down at 6 okay let's try to do this in MATLAB okay so value of t remains same and we are going to change it as z1 is equals to uh, I think I should open this expression as here and so I can easily see this thing Z starting from this one Z1 T is starting from 2 and T uh, less than equals to 4 
and add it with five and six. Five, two, six. Okay. Now plot uh, this one. P Z one. P comma Z one. So here we have a graph here, and we also need to give an axis. So here we have axis, and now we can compare it with this one. As you can see that it's starting from. I can use this cursor as well. Okay, this is two, two, four, and then uh, it again becoming uh, zero at. 0.4 and then becoming 1 at 0.5 and then 6. Okay. Uh, now try some another expression like this one. Okay. Like this one. Okay. What if we want a uh, a negative unit step function? Like it's coming uh, from minus values and it should be minus 1. From negative time and it's become uh, zero at positive time. So what we have to do, like we can easily do this thing. Z three is equals to okay Z is equals to Z three, and we just simply like do this thing, and uh, we have to plot t comma Z three. Okay. So you can see. It's one when the time is negative, and it becomes zero when time becoming positive. Okay, so this is some unit step functions. So here we have an another expression. Uh, I think we should uh, apply this one as well. You can see. Okay, we will try to solve this one as well. Okay. So Z will be. Z five. I am naming it with Z five. T will be um, minus one, minus one to positive three, and it's become five to six. Is is? I think it's just same. Ah, it's same. Okay, five to six. So it's basically become one. Uh, it become step up from minus one to three. Okay, so we can see here as well minus one two. Okay, exactly. So we will try to plot this one as well. Z five and give him a axis. So we can see easily. Okay. So here you can see it's become um, one in negative time from starting from minus one. Okay. So here are the some solutions. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.